Welcome to Meds to Herbs for a better health and a better life. Dr. Woodson Nero of Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City says, the strength of our immune system is what makes the difference between who gets sick and who doesn't. The one with the immune system functioning below baseline normal has an increased risk of getting sick, according to Dr. Philip Tierno Jr. in his book, The Secret Life of Germs. It's your body's innate ability to manufacture antibodies that counter the infectious particle, allowing your body to eradicate it. This, he says, not only affects your ability to fend off common illnesses like colds, flu, or a stomach virus, but it can also play a role in protecting you against catastrophic diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes mellitus, high cholesterol, heart and kidney disease, arthritis, anemia, gout, cancer, and other diseases. Catastrophic diseases do not develop for some unknown reason. Once you understand why and how it develops, and learn how to support your body so that it may more effectively fight these diseases, it may never be too late to get healthy again. These diseases are a natural process where, to put it simply, an overworked and weakened immune system cannot kill it as fast as it is multiplying. Toxin, carcinogens, radiation, even viruses combined with an unhealthy internal environment and in conjunction with a weakened immune system cause more cells to turn to a disease state and allows them to thrive. Free radicals are atoms or groups of atoms with an odd or unpaired number of electrons and can be formed when oxygen interacts with certain molecules. Once formed, these highly reactive radicals can start a chain reaction. Their chief danger comes from the damage they can do when they react with important cellular components such as DNA or the cell membrane. Such free radicals with unpaired electrons are unstable and have a high oxidation potential, which means they are capable of stealing electrons from other cells. Problems arise when too many of these active oxygen molecules or free radicals are produced in the body. They are extremely reactive and can also attach themselves to normal healthy cells and damage them genetically. These active oxygen radicals steal electrons from normal healthy biological molecules. This electron theft by active oxygen oxidizes tissue and can cause disease. Because active oxygen can damage normal tissue, it is essential to scavenge this active oxygen from the body before it can cause disintegration of healthy tissue. Therefore, if we can find an effective method to block the oxidation of healthy tissue by active oxygen, then we can attempt to prevent disease. Antioxidants are substances or nutrients in our foods which can prevent or slow the oxidative damage to our body. Antioxidants act as free radical scavengers and hence prevent and repair damage done by these free radicals. Health problems such as heart disease, macular degeneration, diabetes, cancer, etc. are all contributed by oxidative damage. Antioxidants may also enhance immune defense and therefore lower the risk of cancer and infection. How can Moringa prevent these conditions? Moringa contains 46 antioxidants, 18 of 20 amino acids, 9 of them being essential, pythochemicals, and more than 90 nutrients. More vitamin A than carrots, more calcium than milk, more iron than spinach, more vitamin C than oranges, more potassium than bananas, and the protein quality 
rival to that of milk and eggs. Over the past two decades, many reports have appeared in mainstream scientific journals, describing its nutritional and medicinal properties. To know more about Moringa Malungai, visit meds2herbs.blogspot.com.